Hello, my lovely, wonderful people. Welcome back to Spice Channel TV. In a development that has further exposed the challenges facing the All Progressive Congress in the lead up to the Edo State gubernatorial election, Senator Mondi Okwebolo, the party's candidate, was the subject of a public embarrassment on Arise TV on Thursday, August 29th. And during an interview on the popular morning show, Dr. Ruben Abati, the prominent anchor suggested that the program's producers were willing to interview Okwebolo in Pidgin English due to concerns about his proficiency in English language. And Okwebolo, who has, you know, continuously avoided media appearances despite the elections being a few weeks away, has become a source of worry for the APC. His reluctance to engage with the media has fought speculations about his communication abilities, which many observers, you know, question whether he is adequately prepared to govern a state as complex as a do. And during an interview with Jared Tenebi, the APC chairman in Edo State, Dr. Abati's remarks were seen as a tiny veiled jab at uh, Okwebolo's perceived inadequacies. Because at this point, we know that Arise TV have tried their best to get Senator Mondi Okwebolo on their program for interview, for them to conduct interview. But the ABC refused. He refused to, to appear. And then they had to offer to conduct the interview in, in a pidgin English, if that would make him more comfortable. And this issue had been compounded by the recent link of Okwebolo's West African Examinations Council uh, result online, which is the WAYEC, his WAYEC result, which reportedly showed a less than, you know, a, less, a lesser academic pe performance. And this uh, revelation has done little to inspire the confidence among Edo voters who are increasingly questioning whether Okwebolo possesses the educational and intellectual capacity to manage the affairs of the state. And adding to Okwebolo's woes in overpowering presence of uh, Senator Adam Soshomole, the former governor of Edo State, and the city senator representing Edo North Senatorial District, Oshomole has frequently taken the spotlight during campaign rallies, often speaking on behalf of Okwebolo, this has led many to conclude that Okwebolo is not a man of his own and may lack the independence to govern effectively in Edo State. Critics within the APC and beyond have voiced their concerns about the party's choice of candidates. An anonymous party insider noted that it's becoming increasingly clear that Okwebolo is not ready. You know, he's not ready for governance. His refusal to engage with the media, coupled with his academic background, raises serious questions about his suitability for the role. This situation has become a significant embarrassment for the APC, especially as the election draws near, with the People's Democratic Party fielding a strong candidate in Aswe Yodalo, who has been actively engaging with both the media and the electorate. And the context between these two candidates could not be starker. And as the clock ticks down to the election, scheduled for Saturday, September 21st, 2024, the ABC is under increasing pressure to address the issues surrounding OPEC Bolo's candidacy. Whether the party can effectively manage this crisis and present a united front remains to be seen, but the public embarrassment on a national platform like Arise TV certainly has not helped their cause. It has not helped their cause in any way. Because what's going on? Yes, we know that um, English language is not a test of intelligence. We have other countries like, uh, like, like, like French, the Germans, Spanish people. They don't speak English, but they govern in their countries so well. They do. And Edo people deserve more. Edo people deserve better. Edo is a rich state with reasonable economic standards. And at this point, Okwebolo needs to, you know, needs to put in a lot of effort. He really needs to put in a lot of effort before this matter will escalate. There are other presidents in the world that don't speak English. And they are doing quite well. 
So English language is not a criteria whereby one can use to test others' intelligence. No. If if uh, Opebolo is not, you know, fluent in uh, in English language, he can as well go for Pidgin language. All Nigerians are very very conversant with Pidgin language, even those that are not learned and the learned ones. They are very conversant with Pidgin language, so that one will even be better for the Edo people and the masses that he's trying to reach. That one go go well. Papa they hear pidgin language. Mama they hear pidgin language. Picking self they hear uh, English pidgin language. Nobody when they speak pidgin for Edo states. Even the people where go school, the people where no go school, they still they hear pidgin language. So now so it just be. May they not just package your pueblo for APC carry give Edo people. It not go make sense at all. Even if say they want offer an interview for Asian language, anyone where they want to, may they do. At least, make Edo people shine their eyes, oh, because this matter gets us a bit. Although, aside, um, you know, language barrier and all of that, um, the people are here to see what uh, Okwebolo is really made of, you know. The people are here to see what Okwebolo is really made of. He's here to show his... His true potential to the people. If the people are not seeing your potential now, when are they going to see it? Is it after the election? Is it after the election? So that is just that is just it. Yes, English proficiency. No be yardstick for excellence. No be yardstick for intelligence. No be by who sabi speak English. Now no book pass. But everyone has his or her own strategies. But Opebolo should try as much as possible to reach to the masses, to communicate to the electorate. If you don't communicate with them, who will? When you get to win the elections, how will you communicate with your people? Who will be speaking to the people? You will be the one speaking to the people. So you just have to, you know, the, the APC just have to come up with something because they've been knocked from all sides, both from the PDP, from other opposition parties knocking at the APC over their candidates. And it is shameful. It is shameful. This leaves many people to question the, the, you know, the capacity of Okwebolo to govern Edo people. Because Edo people, they deserve the best. They deserve more. Someone that can pick up from where Obasiki stopped. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.